Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll discuss about how to initialize the values of the control and indicator in LabVIEW. Into the left hand side, we have the front panel with one control and two indicators. And onto the right hand side, the block diagram shows the for loop that will run 10 times and the addend value is being added with uh, the random value to produce the result and when the for loop will finish executing 10 times the result is displayed in a sum array so when you run as we can see the sum array is being populated after the calculation so let's change the value of the addend and run it again and it is being displayed but we are going to encounter the problem if we show the highlight execution what we are seeing is even the application is running the code is running the content of the array is, is still the same from the last result rather than the new one so what we can do to correct this problem is by first of all we can right click on the indicator and then create a property node of value and place it in front of the code that is to initialize the value and then we can do the create constant value at the moment it has a constant value over there three so what we do is we remove the value over there at the moment and then since it is the double numeric constant we insert over there and to perform the data flow we'll connect with the error cluster wire over there and then if we will run it now what we'll see is the value is initialized to nothing or empty array in the beginning so this is working as expected we can change the values and run it yeah okay so this is how we update uh, the value using the property name.